Hello, I'm Letty Cotton Pilgerbin. I'm the author of 11 books, and I'm a past president of Americans for Peace Now, Shalom Akshav's support group in the United States. I've been involved in Middle East peace work for probably 35 years. Uh, I was present on the White House lawn in 1993 for the handshake between Yasser Arafat and Yitzhak Rabin, and I was also in the Arava Desert in 1994 for the handshake between King Hussein and Rabin. That was a period, halcyon period, when we thought peace was on the horizon. And obviously, things have unraveled dramatically since then. With the recent failure of John Kerry's peace initiative, I'm feeling that a sense of hopelessness and futility is washing over many of us. But for me, what keeps me going is the dialogue group I've been in for the last six years. I've participated in dialogue for about 30 years, but this most recent group of women, Palestinian Americans, and Jewish Americans has dug so deep, has bored down uh, into our intimate and uh, most personal feelings, thoughts, and experiences. So I feel I've walked in the shoes of the other. I understand the Palestinian experience in a visceral way. And I know that you at Yala have been doing similar work. I think it's vital. I think it's the building blocks for bottom-up peacemaking. It's not going to just be top-down. And I want to em emphasize that the role of women in this process is vitally important. Women's voices need to be heard more. So I hope that you underscore that and allow women's experience to illuminate the path ahead. In terms of what has to be discussed in dialogue, I think we have to bite the bullet to mix a metaphor in terms of peace discussions. But we have to talk about the occupation, how brutal it is. I've seen the checkpoints. I've seen what life is like for Palestinians in Hebron. In Hebron. And I think we have to be honest about the imbalance of power. The fact that, in fact, Israel is one of the most powerful, has one of the most powerful armies in the world. The Palestinians are uh, quite powerless, and there's an asymmetry there that has to be recognized. But more than anything, dialogue gives you a kind of opportunity for humanizing the other that I think is invaluable. I hope that when you talk about Jerusalem borders, solutions that might allow for land swaps, what to do with the holy places, that you also talk about how your family has been affected by history. And in particular, I hope, and I'm speaking as an American liberal Zionist Jew, I hope that the Jews in your group really hear the experience of the Napa and of dispossession and of villages destroyed and of life in humiliation and uh, distress, because I hear that when I'm in dialogue. And for me, that has made all the difference in terms of creating my in deep investment in the achievement of peace. Keep up the good work, Yala, and thank you.